Hello guys, my first movie review is going to be Rebel Without a Cause, directed by Nicholas Ray. So, th there's three main actors and actresses. The main actor is James Dean, who plays Jim Stark, which I think he did a phenomenal job. I, I think he hit all the right uh, keys when, when he was supposed to be happy. He was happy when he was supposed to make you feel sad for him. You felt sad. Uh, Natalie Wood, who played Judy, I think she did great. Uh, she she had some character development, but I think I think everyone had great character development between uh, between Jim, between his father, between uh, Salomino's character. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, his his character is Plato, and in the beginning it shows. Uh, Jim and Plato, and Jim asks him if he wants to uh, have his jacket because he was cold, and Plato said no. The reason I mention this is because later in the film, when they bond, uh, and Plato sees Jim kind of like a fatherly figure, he uh, Jim asks if he wants his jacket again, and Plato says yes. I like stuff like that, where in the beginning it it was like, eh, but then later on it shows that they're, they're close enough that that's okay. And this film has lots of good things, very few bad things. There's only really two bad things I don't like about this movie. So one thing, I, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, but someone, someone dies, and they... They don't take it as hard as I would think teenagers teenagers would take it. So that that's that's one thing that I don't like. Another thing is so Jim when he's leaving the auditorium and he goes to his car and the whole gang's on top of his car. Uh, he sees that uh, the guy flattens his tire, so he opens his trunk and gets the tire iron to fix his tire. Well, he goes to fix his tire and he gets called chicken. So he he's he does not like that term. So he's he's about to fight the kid and he throws the tire iron. I don't, I don't know why he would throw it. He like you know, toss it down, okay, but he throws it to where he'll never get it again. And I don't that's just one small thing that I didn't like. But most of it's good. The pacing skill, like I said, the ca character development is phenomenal. Between Jim's character, how in the beginning you could tell he he didn't have his head on straight to, you know, near the end where he he knew where he was going more than he was in the beginning. And then his father, his father was always, you know, getting yelled at by his mother. He, he never stood up for himself. And then the in the end, you could tell that he uh, developed a lot, and I I like the uh, soundtrack. I I think the uh, music was awesome for the parts that they played it. Uh, the ending was okay. I kind of wish it had like an extra ten minutes uh, near the end, but uh, the ending was all right. I would say that this is definitely one of the best classics and I would give it an A-. Well, what do you think about Rebel Without a Cause? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Comment below and please subscribe and my Instagram name is MovieReview1997 if you want to follow that. And have a great day.